Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? Uh, before I get the video started, I want to say hi to my friend Francis, who I spoke with today, had a really long conversation with about EOS, and I appreciate the phone call, appreciate your time. And I know you're watching, Francis, because you tell me you watch at work at night. He works at night, so he watches the videos. So for Francis, my videos work out really well because he works at night and he's able to watch the videos. But what I want to talk about tonight, two things I want to talk about. First thing I want to talk about is the price of EOS, which was up pretty well, pretty good. I don't know if it's pretty well, pretty good. I can't remember. But anyway, it was up today. Last time I looked, it was uh, up 8 or 9%. So hopefully the price continues to increase. I think it will. Uh, there's a lot of activity going on. Like I say, you do not want to sell EOS ahead of the airdrops. That is the reward for owning the EOS token is the airdrops. And these airdrops are going to be coming very, very frequently in the near future. And I got a big train coming in here, so I won't be able to talk very long, even though this is one of my favorite places to shoot a video. But um, I want to talk real quickly about a video that I watched, and I'm going to put a link to it below, about how it was, it was somebody, a YouTuber, that was talking about um, using an app on a cell phone to, to be able to monitor brainwaves. So in other words, you have this something on your, on your head and by this app, I'm able to look at you and see your brainwaves, monitor your brainwaves. This is a very interesting idea. I talk about putting human activity on the blockchain. Think about putting brainwaves on the, on the blockchain. Think about using the blockchain to measure brain activity. And may, maybe by measuring brain activity, we can diagnose things like depression, uh, people that are having difficulties or maybe having difficulties learning. These are the kind of things blockchain will be used for. Not only for all human activity, but, but maybe for a range of things that have to do with monitoring or viewing brain activity. Maybe even something, and I'm just thinking of this as I go, could possibly be something that has to do with uh, hopefully maybe telling, having a, a, an ability to measure people's brainwaves to determine if they're telling the truth or not. All these interesting ideas are going to be made. Here we go, another train. The Amtrak. EOS trains go this way. Amtrak trains go that way. And this one's gonna stop. Here's my son Chance. You met my daughter, that's my son. Maybe I can make this uh, this YouTube channel about trains. Here we go. Say hi to the video, Chance. I gotta wait till this thing kind of calms down. There we go, we're powering up. A lot of power there. So like I say, some trains go this way, some trains go that way. Usually when the trains go this way, is when I film for EOS. 
train. The train's going that way. Or <laughs> not the US train. The train's going this way, yes, train. I don't know. The train's just kind of a funny deal. It just kind of got thrown into my video when I. Anyway, like I say, putting brain activity may be one of the biggest things a blockchain can do. Measuring brain activity and using that to, to benefit people as far as being able to monitor people's brain waves, maybe be able to use it for some sort of mental issues, be able to use it to help learning, uh, be able to use it for a number of things. These are the kind of ideas blockchain will be used for. These are the kind of ideas you want to be involved with in the future. This is the next generation internet. This is next generation EOS. Yeah, this is what the EOS is for. EOS is for putting massive amounts of information on the blockchain. Massive amounts of information that we can shared by numbers of people and compared by numbers of people, like I said, by doing things like monitoring brainwaves and all this stuff. This is technology that's going to be happening in the future. And this is technology that works perfectly with the blockchain. So anyway, it's been kind of a funny video tonight because of the fact I had a train come through. But I, I like trains, so I hope you do too. Thanks, I appreciate you watching.